we did this one in an hour and 10 minutes of airtime. And wow. so it's a huge savings in time, manpower, the control that's needed to set everything up. Just all around, it's, it's a huge benefit in time. For over five years, Rock Robotic has partnered with over a thousand clients worldwide, completing over 30,000 jobs from quick turnarounds to the most complex projects. We specialize in aerial and drone LiDAR hardware and software backed by our Rock Pro services team, processing over a million acres of data with expert QC QA for precise, high quality results. Based in the US, our industry leading customer success team works as an extension of your crew hands-on from the first flight to final deliverable. No matter the scale or challenge, we're by your side, ensuring you capture the exact data you need to succeed. That experience brought us here to the perfect proving ground for the Rock Ultra with Brian Drinkwater and Matt Barksdale of Florida Design Consultants, Inc. in Zephyr Hills, Florida. This site is more than a scan. It's a living record of their journey with Rock Robotic, from their first R2A flight to today's Ultra. The job has under construction phases with housing, roads, woods, swamps. Uh, it's a well-rounded job with multiple types of terrain to test the sensor. Okay, basically picture anybody from over Florida, wetlands, woods, fields, it's pretty much all of that thrown onto one site uh, and then being turned into neighborhoods as most of our jobs revolve around. Yeah, the site's a multi-phase, little over 500 acre residential site. Uh, started actually a while ago, and then got put on hold for a long time. We came back in four years ago to pick the job back up again, which was actually part of why we chose the site. We started using rock sensors four years ago with the R2A. This was actually our first site that we ever flew with a LiDAR sensor. So we are familiar with multiple sensors and we have used all three of these sensors on this site. So we've been able to see results from each one. Florida design consultants have been delivering engineering, surveying, and planning expertise across Florida for decades. You can learn more about their work at fldesign.com or explore their projects and insight on their YouTube channel at FDC Reality. Florida design consultants. Think it, achieve it. This wasn't just another flight. It was about proving that higher, faster, and more efficient can still mean survey grade precision. And that's where prove is, you know, some, can something fly that high that fast and get the results that we've been getting by flying at less than half that height and half that speed? And from what we saw, yeah, the, the answer is yes. So we didn't see any any limitations, even with tall grass. At one point, he drove the truck out into the field to set control. The truck just disappeared into the grass. The learning curve was non-existent. What changed was just how much ground they could cover in a single flight. Yep. Uh, as far as setup and flying, it's about identical. It connects to the drone, you plug it in, one button, one press, let it do its initial um, checks on itself and you program the flight, the flights are pre-programmed and we let it rip. Typically we fly the R3 at 160 feet and between seven and nine miles per hour, depending on the site, what we're trying to gather. Cause we're being a survey company, we're looking for the highest accuracy we can get. So I'm sure we are overkilling it with the amount of data we're collecting, yeah. but the yes. results we've gotten have been excellent. And we would rather take that little extra time in the field and that extra data to guarantee we're gonna get the best results we possibly can. So again, flying at seven to nine miles per hour now and watching the Rock Ultra flying at, I think we had it at 18 miles per hour. I wasn't sure what it was gonna collect, but it was impressive. It's, it looks similar to the data we get from the R3 at half, less than half the height and half the speed. Let's explore the data in the rock cloud. The real test was in the data, and the Ultra delivered crisp, detailed results 
even at high altitude. That's on the same level as what we get from the R3. We actually use the R3 not just for raw land, and it's pretty much in the air all the time now. You know, Matt, I'm constantly sending Matt out in the field. Hey, Matt, we got like three flights this week. Um, but we're using it for record now. So we're, instead of sending the teams out there and collecting all the pad information, the lot elevation, the roads, we're collecting a lot of that information with the LIDAR to at least get the initial scan. And then if we spot any areas of, of concern, we we'll send the crews back out to fix those, you know, double check those areas, flag it up, let the contractors know what didn't pass and what did. But what you're showing on the model is very much what we're accustomed to seeing with the R3. So they're right on par with each other. The image looks sharper and has more depth, color depth to it. Even the um, intensity setting, it's more of a black and white, sharper look to it. It was easier to look at. It looks different than the previous ones we worked on. And it looks nice. It's easy to work with. It's easy to see your control points on it. It's, it was just one of those little subtle improvements. But the more I look at it, I think it actually, something did change. With fewer passes, fewer batteries, and less field time, the Ultra stripped the hassle out of big site surveying. Everything involved in the process is just faster and easier. I didn't have to take an ATV to the job, didn't have to pull a trailer, didn't have to have fuel. It's just so many things were eliminated by having that sensor that eliminated a lot of room for error and a lot of possibilities for things to go wrong. So we actually carry eight sets of batteries for our M300. This, we used, what, I think three? Three sets. I think we used three sets on this flight. We would have been out there two or three days just cycling batteries, trying to keep up to get this entire site done. When speed, coverage, and accuracy all line up, there's only one thing left to say. Put it in the air, one battery swap, one hour flight, 500 plus acres, done.